place. And a biomarker is a, an in, a biological indicator of disease. So a great example of this is a COVID test. If you've got two lines, that means you, you unfortunately do have COVID. And that test tells us definitively, do you have the biology present in your body of something like COVID? Another one is cholesterol. When you get your cholesterol measured, when you have a blood test at the doctor, a cholesterol test is a biomarker of heart disease. And for a very long time, and I'm sure many people in this room can attest, Parkinson's has, is often a diagnosis of last resort. It's, it's, it, this, it isn't anything else, right? We didn't have a clear test that said, yes, you definitively have Parkinson's, you're this far along, so on and so forth. This was crucially important to science and also crucially important to the patient population to have an easier time getting to diagnosis. So in March of 2023, the first ever Parkinson's biomarker was definitively discovered. And basically what it does is it measures this protein called alpha-synuclein, which is, a, which is for, from what we know right now about Parkinson's disease biology, it is the prevalent protein of interest. It is the protein that has done something wrong in your brain to cause that dopamine loss. The biomarker measures uh, misfolded alpha-synuclein in spinal fluid, giving a 93% accuracy that you indeed have the presence of Parkinson's disease. And what, what the biomarker does, which I think is the crucial takeaway here, is it rapidly accelerates science for a bunch of reasons. And it's rapidly accelerating science at a time when the drug discovery pipeline is as packed as it has ever been. So this could not have come at a better time for Parkinson's disease researchers because they, they desperately needed a tool that could objectively measure disease in the people they were studying to move these. Not only does that move science forward faster because it uh, objectively measures the thing that they're looking to measure, but it also gets people on board, gets, gets organizations with really deep pockets more interested in funding this work because it is inherently less risky when you can objectively measure it. If I'm asking you, how do you feel today versus how you felt six weeks ago when you took the medication that we say may or may not cure your Parkinson's disease, and you're saying, well, I feel great because I'm thinking I might have cured my Parkinson's, it's not scientific. Difference. Want objective measurements. The biomarker is that objective measure. 